Hello everyone, this is Chris, and one of the coolest things you could do inside the game is recreate something we see in the real world, but inside of the game. Well, that is why when I saw Life in the United States, it got me very curious and very interested to see just how accurate it actually is to the, uh, to the United States we actually have in the real world. And because it's absolutely free, we're not really losing anything if we check this out. Now, uh... This is under the education tab, which gets me a smidge worried as to what we're going to see inside of it. But you know what? It's a it's a Minecraft map in the marketplace. It shouldn't be anything anything too bad. Okay. Um, from the looks of things, we're already off to a pretty uh, pretty good start. Um, we're kind of missing Canada at the top, and we're kind of missing I think Mexico down there. And I'm not sure uh, Hawaii is quite that snowy, but for everything else, it's looking it's looking pretty cool. And it looks like it's giving us a whole bunch of other types of options we could do. So mob spawning, off and on. Um, I'll leave it off. Uh, well, we'll check it out in survival. Why not? Uh, customize your game settings, day and night. Yeah, we could do that. Uh, weather. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it off. And what's in these chests? A guidebook from... Oh, yeah, this is this uh, this map was actually made by Lifeboat. And they actually even have a... Um, they actually even have a server. So let's uh, briefly read this. Welcome to Life in the United States. If you've ever wanted to take a road trip across the entire United States, you're in luck. Travel across the entire country, learn facts, and take quizzes to test your knowledge. So that's that's where the education part comes in. Okay, okay. So um I think I think we're all good. I'm going to take all the bread because you know what you can never have too much bread unless you do have too much bread, but you know what? Let's uh let's free play this first off. USA free play. Okay, and can I guess where we are at right off the bat? There's a Ferris wheel. We have some frame rate issues. I don't know if it, this is coming through the video, but there's some like serious choppy issues. But all right, where are we? We are in America, but where exactly are we? Um, if I had to guess, okay, we're on a coast. Are we in? We might be in New York, but then you would see the the I the um the Eiffel Tower. I'm probably, yeah, I'm mixing it up, I can't, the big lady, the Statue of Liberty, that's it, okay, I, sh I should know this, I, I live here, but, well, not New York in particular, but you know what I mean, I live in the, in the United States, but, alright, speaking of the United States, there's some, some coins just sitting, sitting all, all, all around the place, and I kind of want to get them, I don't know what I need them for, but I kind of want to, kind of want to get my hands on them, one of the, one of the good things you should do, in case they are not on the floor like this, is to, uh, it's just jump your way up a Ferris wheel, as it turns out. But all right, let's, let's see if we can get this one. And then I just want to explore. I want to see like what this what this map actually has to offer. Okay, there's Lady Liberty, which makes me think we're in the lower half of the U.S. So maybe we're in Florida right now. So I kind of want to get to my to my home state. I want to get all the way over to to California, which is probably going to be quite the ow. Well, at least we could check out the map again. So we were down there around Florida, which is this supposed to be Disney World or is it supposed to be something else? I don't know. I don't know. But it looks like there's a road we could take down across, I think, Alabama, past them, um, past Texas, and then all the way to California. I want to get to California. I want to see, like, how accurate it is over there. But all right. Um, do we? Yeah, let's just go back to free play. Let's let's actually just try and see if I could get all the way over there. And like many of these maps I play, I don't think there's going to be much of a replayability, but in case you do want to check this out to maybe learn some facts about America, then you could totally uh, check this out. And, alright, we are going to be using a cab, and this is a very fast cab. Like, I have not really driven one quite this fast, and I don't know what we need. Ah. Don't trust me. Don't trust me with a New York-style cab. Otherwise, I will, I will drive it inside the water. That is what we have learned today, but alright, let's... Let's get ourselves out and let's head ourselves all the way across America and to um to California. And it looks like we even have some some NPC. So hello, ma'am. Um, you're kind of sitting right in the center of the road. Yeah, maybe 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 get yourself a smidge off the road. Like y you never know how how my driving is gonna go. But all right. Oh yeah, there's facts here. I completely forgot. But all right, let's we could skim through some of these facts. Alabama, the world's largest case iron. So this okay. We're in Alabama. This is. I think I think it's in the book somewhere. The world's largest case iron statue in Birmingham, Alabama. It's okay. So that's that's that. Let's uh let's see like what other types of other types of facts we could find on our way. Like I wonder what they'll have like for 
Texas or for, again, my, my home state, California. I wonder what they'll have uh, over there. And I also wonder if we could do anything with these vending machines, because I've seen this like twice now and, oh, okay, we can do it. So uh, I guess more bread, because we can never have too much bread, I guess. And all right, on our way, onwards and forwards. That's not how that saying goes, but um, but y you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Ooh, look at this thing. I've, se I've seen videos of these. I don't know what they're called, but it's like you have like a jet or like, you know, a propeller in the back and then just it lifts you up. I wonder if it'll do it here. So if we get ourselves a run up, will this go? And no, maybe, maybe we need a bigger run up. Maybe we need to do that. Um, I think it's better in first person. So let's go, go. Can we go up? Nope. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I need to pull the lever. Do I need to hit something? I don't know what I'm doing with this thing, but oh, there we go. There we go. We just needed to take off. So, all right, this is miles quicker. And all right, there's Hollywood over there. Kind of probably should have expected that, but all right, let's see what else we have around this area. We're going to crash. Ah, oh. perfect landing. Perfect. Perfect. Do you hear that? Those are some, those are some cool sounds. I like, I like that. Like, I don't know why it wasn't there over there and in, in I think it was Texas, but um all right, all right, how do we how do we get down? But yeah, I, I kind of probably should have expected that Hollywood would be over here. Like it's it's one of the big things everyone knows about knows about California. Just the all the movies and all the things are just made here, just inside of Hollywood. Maybe let's check out some other states. Let's get out of my, my home state. I've been in my home state for far too long, as probably many Many of everyone else has been over this past year, so let's go, let's go other places and actually see, see what other types of things like other states have. And ma'am, I don't think being, being in a canyon like this is maybe the best idea, and I don't know why I'm saying that while I'm in here, but, um, but oh well. Actually, let's, let's kill ourselves and see what this type of, um, this type of story thing is about, because maybe it's like finding something or something like that, but let's, I'm I'm curious enough to, to check this out. So let's go story mode. Let's see. Okay, we're getting more of these cinematic things. I like I like these. I've seen these in a couple maps, but I always like it. Life in the United States of America. I kinda like what they did over there with the um with Lady Liberty. Alright, we're back in Florida. What are what is our plan now? Are we supposed to do something with this book? Florida is on a sunshine state. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Um are we supposed to do something? Is there like a task or something. I don't know. This is, I, I I was kind of expecting more of a more of a task style thing, but there doesn't seem to be much, if anything, to do apart from just head into the uh, head into the ocean over there. So I guess I'll make up my own story and just continue heading my way around um around America. And I've always wanted to go visit New York. Like I always like the uh some of the things they have and other things. And ooh, I like the I like these things. I like you know just telling you to stop and go. I, why do I, why have I just completely forgotten all sense of like just the the casual normal things you see in life? I don't know. I don't know. But all right, where are we now? Is this Pennsylvania or am I thinking too far ahead? Like I should again, I should know this. I don't live in Pennsylvania, but I should know where certain things are. But maybe a maybe a book will tell me. Virginia. Okay, okay. I was missing one. I was missing one. I love how they managed to just cramp in a whole bunch of stuff just in one singular area. I mean, they couldn't build the entirety of America to a one-to-one -one scale, especially for a marketplace map. But for for what they did, for the amount of things they managed to cramp in, I I kind of like it. And I don't know if uh, Lady Liberty is supposed to supposed to look like that, but I like I like how they use the other uh, prismarine. It actually looks like um. It looks like um, the copper she was made of. I think she's made of copper. Like, isn't that the thing? She's made of copper or something. Once again, my mind is drawing a complete blank today. Ooh, is that is that what I think it is? Is that, is that a helicopter? Can I can I borrow the helicopter? Because those those winged whatever bike things they're they're too complicated for me. So can I borrow that? No. All right, all right. I'll just keep I'll just keep walking around into where am I now? I've I've gotten myself lost. I wish I had just like a map in my hand just so I know where I am. But all right, so we're we're still relatively close to New York. Um, is this Tennessee? I don't know. Maybe maybe a bike will be better. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this looks so this looks so like weird. Just me. Oh no, I'm actually pedaling the bike. That's got that's kind of cool. And all right, forget the bike. I've actually finally found myself a, hel a helicopter now. 
How do I start it? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down there, slow down there. Now, how do I go up? What? What's the up button? Oh, I guess just, just fly up, but... All right, now we can actually take a look around and see what what's what, I think. So, where are we now? Um... I should know more of these landmarks. Like, I've not really been much in the central part of America, but I know there are plenty of, uh, plenty of things to see. I think this is, um, I think we're in Utah right now with these, um, with these Mesa Canyons right here. So, Nevada should be, um, somewhere around here. And, yeah, I just, I kind of wish, like, I was actually reading the books and things and actually keeping track as to where I am. But, all right, let's head ourselves up to... I think this is Oregon. I think so. I've never been to Oregon. I I hear I hear there's some good things here, but I've never never actually properly properly been here. But all right, I think I think we're actually now in Washington, and I should know this building. I should I I don't know any of these buildings. Like th this should just like come straight to me because it looks like they're building some of the most like iconic landmarks, but just most of these just aren't coming to me. So unless if like they have built just random landmarks and I'm just not getting them or I don't know I don't know instead of learning about America I just ride around in this huge thing with a huge wrecking ball on it I think I think that's the more safer option like in my mind this should be excruciatingly safe like much safer than that than that one taxi I was driving around like see I'm not even I'm not even smashing into things. I'm not hitting any pedestrians. I'm not doing any of that. But all right, I think I should uh, I should kill myself again and actually check this place out in creative because I want to see like things from above without having to worry about you know just having to try and fly and find one of those um, vehicles or anything. So how do I do this? Uh, creative. Let's do that and let's go for replay. So now we can actually check out this place in detail without it having to worry about turning back into survival like what what was that okay we're back in creative um I, I don't I don't know what's up with that but all right let's let's actually have a fly around and actually see see what this place is about I've said this before but I'll say it again I love how just compact everything is like you could you could kind of tell like where or what thing is what without it being obstructed by like other types of things I just kind of wish like I knew what state I was in at the time like you you, can you tell me what state I'm in right now? Can you tell me, like, exactly where I am? I don't even know where I am. Unless there's, like, a, a book you could find. Like, apart from that, there's really no serious thing to tell you, like, where you are and what where you're at and other types of things. So it looks like Texas has turned itself into a little bit of a maze. I'm not sure if Texas is like this in real life, but um, I guess inside of this map it is somewhat of a maze, I think. Um, unless if I'm just, like reading it wrong like I don't know I, I probably am reading it wrong but that's what I'm seeing and but I think over here is actually where Hawaii is now I don't think it, this is like accurate as to where it is like in this one map but all right we can we could still uh ch put a uh, put facts to the side and actually check out see see what this place is like it looks like it's a big hotel room which I'm liking I I've never been to Hawaii myself but I, I'm liking how there is a a nice hotel here we have some stairs leading up here we have a lovely little balcony looking over the rest of America a little bit we have um bedrooms right here with um easily accessible bedrooms I'm not sure how uh, how much privacy you're gonna get here but but oh well so then my big question is this if this is Hawaii if Hawaii is just a singular hotel which um okay I guess then what is this thing? It's not like the Arctic or the South Pole or anything, because I don't think that's that's part of um of the U.S. So, what is this thing? Are people just really excited for these new mountains and they just decide to place it inside here, or is there is there something else? Am I am I missing something? I've flown around this thing for like 10, 20 minutes, and I could not find a single thing. Oh, apart from right down there, right when I right when I was about to give up, there's actually a chest down here. So. What even is this one place? Alaska. Okay, this uh, this makes more sense. Again, it's not quite as uh, as accurate as what we see in real life, but um, but okay, okay. I mean, I think they're getting the scale down at least. I don't know how mountainous Alaska is. I really should have uh, really should have done my research a little bit before filming this video, but um. But oh well, let's go. They have Alaska, and if we fly up all the way up here, you can see that not only are the landmarks around here actually pretty accurate, but just the shape of the entire United States is actually 
very accurate too because take a look at this if, if you were to like show someone just this image of the map without telling them what this map is they could probably have a pretty good idea as to what it is but i think in the whole this one map is to just serve as sort of um in case you want to just learn a little bit about a particular state of the united states then this is this is totally the uh, the map for you because they do have you know some information about every single state here they do have some some big landmarks and other types of things you would see inside those states but um once again the replayability is not not quite there i can't see me really checking out this map too many more times after this one video but in case again in case you do want to see just like some particular landmarks or something you would see in the real world then this is this is definitely the map you should you should check out which again completely free so you're not even losing out on anything so yeah for now thanks for watching and i'll see you all later